In our last session, we took a look at creating our mock-ups and working with auto mock-up and working with our shading objects and working with the tone curve and adjusting and enhancing our mock-up images. And in this session, I'll take a look at removing the background from the images so we can have a transparent background so that we can add our images or our mock-ups to our design projects or create things like t-shirt order forms, flyers, etc., and have a transparent background for our mock-ups. I'll kind of go ahead and start where we left off in our last session here. And I've got that same mock-up that I set up. I'll go ahead and select everything. Just lasso, left click, hold down, lasso. I'll go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 DPI. I'm gonna go ahead and leave anti-aliasing off. I won't need that for now. Transparent background doesn't really matter, so I'll leave that off and I'll select OK. Next thing I'll do is go ahead up here and click on edit bitmap, and that'll open my image in Corel Photo Paint. Once my image is open in Photo Paint, I'll go ahead and maximize that. And then we'll go ahead and zoom out just a bit here. Now over here, I can see that I'm in my objects as a background object, and I want it to be a regular object, not a background object. So I'll come over to this icon here, and I'll just left click that one time, and now this is a regular object. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and add a new object. So go ahead and click here, and that'll be Object 2. I'll come up and select that left click, hold down, and bring that right down beneath Object 1. I just want to set up some color in the background here so when I knock the white out, I'll be able to see if I have a white halo or not. Then I'll simply come over here to the Fill tool, and I can fill Object 2. Now, here's your fill color. If you want to change that, you can double click on that. That'll open up the dialog box. You can go to Edit and change the color here. I'll select OK because the maroon will be fine for just now. And then I'll go ahead and make sure that I've got Object 2 selected, and I'll just click with the Fill tool, and we'll see that we filled that with the maroon color. Then I'm going to go ahead and select Object 1 with a left click. I'm going to come over here to my Masking Tools, and I'm going to get the Magic Wand tool. Got my tolerance set at about 13. I'll go ahead and click one time here, and you can see the mask show up. Then I'm going to hold down the Shift key. You can see the plus sign there. If I release that, you'll see that plus sign show up. Again, as I release and hold down Shift again, I'll click here. Then I'll zoom in down here. I'll click in here, holding down Shift to be in Additive Mode with the Masking Tool. With all that selected, making sure I've got Object 1 selected and I'm on a masking tool. If I go to the Pick tool and I hit Delete, I'll delete that image and I don't want to do that. So I'll hit Control z get a masking tool, hit Delete, and that will delete or erase or remove the background of the image. Then I'll go ahead and zoom in here and see we've got some white halo in here and I want to get rid of that also. So to get rid of that, I'll just go to Mask, then I'll come to Mask Outline and I'll come down here to Expand. And I've got this set to four pixels. Now, if I turn this eyedropper on and off, I can preview the expansion of the mask. And I can also reduce it or expand it. There's four pixels. Four pixels will be OK, so I'll go ahead and select OK. Then I'm just going to hit the Delete key again, and that gets rid of the white halo. Now, if I want to get rid of something like what's in here, I can go ahead and select that, and then go to Mask, Mask Outline again. And we'll go to Expand. Select OK, and we'll go ahead and delete that also, and we got rid of that, and then we'll come up here and go to Mask, Remove. We can take our Object 2, select that, come down here and click on the trash can, we'll delete that, go ahead and save our file, and then we can go ahead and close Corel Photo Paint, and then we've got our image set up with a transparent background. We can see that there. And then if I want to fill this with a color, let's say like something like a light blue or something like that here, then I can take my mock-up, right-click, hold down, drag that over the rectangle, release, select Power Clip Inside, and I can come down here to select Power Clip Contents and actually resize that right inside of the rectangle for my t-shirt order form and resize this and reposition this. Now if I want to, because I've got a transparent background, I can also click on the rectangle and I can come in here to Edit Power Clip Contents I can come over here and add a drop shadow just to give some depth to that. Very simple effect here. Just left click, hold down, give that some drop shadow. I'll go ahead and change that down to about 10. Then I can go ahead and select my pick tool down here at the bottom, exit, and there's my t-shirt order form set up with my mock-up with a transparent background. Now, of course, you can do a lot of things with this. Setting up your web graphics, creating flyers, all kinds of different things. But I just wanted to show you how you could very easily take the background out of your mockups working with CorelDRAW and Corel Photo Paint after you create a mockup with Auto Mockup.